Hi, and welcome back. So in this video, we're going to, to traverse this singly linked list to print all this data out. So here is a diagram again to show you how we're going to do this. Again, this is a singly linked list that is one direction only, meaning that we have to start from the head and then traverse this list all the way to the end until the node is actually null, then we're done. Okay, so we're going to create, introduce a new node. We'll call it current node or current node that will also be pointing to the head node at the start. And then we're going to check the current node if it's at the end or not. If it's not none yet, it's not null yet, then we can keep, we can keep advancing this current node to the next node and so forth until we reach the end of that node. We use this because we do not want to accidentally delete the head node. And if you do that, you're gonna lose your entire list. So you wanna be extra caution. Okay, so let's go back to the IDE and see how this is implemented. So here is our preview example here. Let me clean this a little bit, to make it look nicer. Um, give us some room. This is the main program. Let's go into the singly linked list and now create our implementation to print this list. So I'll call this one here a function call print in order. And again, because we're printing from the left to right or top, head to tail only. So um, that's all we need to do. And then after this, we'll do another one, how we can print reverse order. Of course, it's not possible. Well, I mean, it's, I didn't say it's not possible. It'll be a little bit more difficult, but we will show you a different way. So first, again, as usual, we want to check to make sure that our list is not null, right? We can do that. If it's null, then just return an empty string. Um, so normally we'll do something like this, it's called the base case. So you can say if, um, you know, self.head is equal to null, uh, none, then you want print like um, print, oops, like an empty string like that. And then, you, and then you return, okay? You quit that, right? So that's another way to do it, which is okay. Um, I don't have any problem with that. Maybe it's easier to see that way. And then you can do something like this. And then you can put here, current node is equal to the self that head. And then want to check to see if, use a while loop here. So while the current node is not equal to none, we do not reach, I mean, it's not the end yet. Then we want to print the um, the current node. In this case, would be the current node dot item, right? And then we will, once you print that out, we want to advance the current node to the next node. So make sure you do that. If you don't forget to do that, you can run it to an infinite loop. So the current node is now pointing to or reassigned to the next node. And that is going to be the current node dot next. Okay, and then keep doing that until the end. And then finally, you want to, I want to print that, you know, a, a, a list of all the animals next to each other. So I want to put um, a end no um, blank here. That means no carriage return. Okay, so it doesn't have the carriage return. And uh, maybe we'll do a final print at the end here to have the carriage return back. Okay, so. Um, that's how you could do it. Um, this is one method, and I'll, I'll come back and I'll show you how, how you can actually just remove this altogether. But let's see how to say this works. Okay, so save this, go back to our list, and now so instead of doing all of these here, we're going to um, print, let's remove all of these. We'll keep that prepend just to make sure it's working. We we'll do it before and after. So before we build the list, you want to do a pets list. That oops, all this junk coming in. Uh, not pets, pets. That print and order. Okay, this should be empty list. This is the after, and then we'll do a, 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 a prepend to the front. So the frog is in the front now, and then we print our order again. So you're going to have three lists in here. Okay, so let's see if this works. And you know what? Let me clear my console over here. A little bit messy. All right, so here we go. The first print was this empty string or empty list. The second print, which is right here after we built the list with three pets, we see that they are printed here. And then we added the frog to the front using the prepend function. And we can see that the order is now correct as is. Okay, so that's how you print data to a, a console. Now let's go back here. Again, I mentioned that this is the base case, right? I mean, because when you check it, this only check in to see if the current is node or not. Because when we assign the current node to the head, 
we already verified here. So basically this is redundant. So you don't really need this. Um, so we can take that out. And then maybe if you want, we can print like this. So print, we're gonna start with the bracket like this. And then we'll also make sure that the character turn is not there. And then we'll, so at the end over here, then we'll print, we we'll close that bracket like this, okay? So that the pair will be inside, nested inside the bracket here. But if it's an empty list, it's just gonna see an empty uh, bracket like you see here. Okay, so save it again, run one more time and just run it. And you should see that it looks just like before, except now we added the pads inside the brackets here. Okay, so it works perfectly fine. Now, how do you print reverse? Okay, so because it's a single list, we have only one direction. It's a little bit challenging if you were to do it uh, and you know using loops and things like that. Um, but I'll show you that you can actually do this very simple using a recursion, okay? So let's go here and do a recursive call. To get print, uh, I should say print a reverse. And then we're gonna do a recursion call. So internally, we're gonna have another function call when we recurse. Oops. And we're passing this recursion, the actual node itself. So you put here node whatever you want to call it, just an object, right? So that we will check the node before we do this down here. I'm gonna call the function. So we put here, um, so you could do like, um, we can check, well, let's let's print first. I'm gonna copy this one here, over here. I need that to the front. And then at the end, I need this to the end. I'm making a shortcut here. Okay, so in between is where I do the recursive call, right? So I'll do a recurse. I gotta pass to this function, the head node. With the head node, I will start from the head node, okay? And once you, you know, once you go to the head node, then it's gonna be cursive, recursive down here, and it keeps going until the end of that list. Okay, so when you go to the recursion call, you pass in the head node, and, um, okay, so I wanna check if the current node is null. If it is, then we just return it. Nothing's returned. So this is already, this is the base case for this up here, right? We did a base case here, same thing. So we pass the head to this node function. We check if it's none already, we exit and we're done. If it's not none, then we're going to do a recursive call here. Uh, we pass in the next node will be the node.next, okay? And then we keep doing that. And then, you know, after we're done, we're gonna, you know, recurse everything back because every time you call the recurse function, it passes to the stack, right? So the stack, it's like the regular stack, you know, first and last time, right? Um, so that when we finish recursion, we reach the end here, it's gonna return recurse back. And then we do the printing right down here. Okay, so the order is important here. So here we're gonna put the, current, I'm gonna copy this right here. And instead of current node, we just call it node.item, okay? If you put it at the recursive call, then it prints a reverse. If you put it before the recursive call, you print the order. So this actually, um, this behavior is quite interesting. So let's save that and go back to our program. And I'm gonna print right down here at the end down here, okay? Just the last one here, um, we'll do a reverse print. Do a print and reverse. And then if it's correct, you should see the reverse at the very last list here in reverse order. So here we go. This is the order in order and the reverse order as you see here using recursion. Okay, so let's um, I'll stop here. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how we can insert a data in between these nodes.